Imagine a world where technology continues to leap bounds in spite of geopolitical hurdles. This is the reality Huawei is shaping. Last August, Huawei made headlines with the surprise release of its Mate 60 series. The phones weren't just new models, they were powered by a fresh 5G Kirin chip, a first since the Mate 40 series. This was a significant milestone given the constraints imposed by US export rules that had previously limited Huawei's access to advanced silicon technology. The Kirin 9000 SSOC, produced by China's leading foundry, SMIC, was a testament to Huawei's resilience and innovative spirit. Its introduction sparked curiosity and raised eyebrows, especially among US lawmakers. The ability of SMIC to produce the Kirin 9000S application processor, despite the stringent US regulations, has sparked interest and investigation. The question on everyone's lips, how did they manage to do it? But Huawei doesn't stop at sparking intrigue. They fan the flames. Rumor has it that Huawei, in collaboration with SMIC, is in the process of developing a new flagship Kirin chip. This isn't just an upgrade, it's a potential game-changer that could draw even more attention from US officials. The intrigue doesn't stop there. Huawei is reportedly developing a new flagship Kirin chip. This could be a game-changer that will redefine the tech landscape and cement Huawei's status as a global tech pioneer. Let's delve into the future Huawei is crafting, a future powered by a 5 nanometers process node Kirin chip. Rumors are swirling in the tech world about this upcoming chip, and it's not hard to see why. The 5NM process node is a leap forward in chip technology promising superior performance and efficiency. But here's the catch. SMIC, the foundry slated to manufacture the chip, has been blocked by the US and Dutch authorities from receiving the extreme ultraviolet lithography machine. This machine is a crucial piece of equipment, typically required to etch the incredibly thin circuitry patterns on silicon wafers that make up these advanced chips. Without this machine, SMIC will have to rely on its deep ultraviolet lithography machines. While these machines are certainly capable, using them to manufacture chips using a 5 nanometers node could prove extremely difficult. The thinner the circuitry patterns, the more precise the manufacturing process must be. And precision on a scale of 5 nanometers is no easy feat. Yet despite these potential hurdles, Huawei remains undeterred. This tech giant is no stranger to overcoming challenges, and its ambitious plans for the future of Kirin chips seem to be no exception. The road ahead for Huawei and the Kirin chip is paved with both opportunities and challenges. But one thing is clear, Huawei's ambition remains unswayed. Despite these challenges Huawei's ambition remains unswayed, Huawei's ambitions extend beyond the 5 nanometers node, delving into the realm of artificial intelligence. As we continue to explore the advancements of the new Kirin chip, let's take a moment to appreciate Huawei's pioneering efforts in the AI sector. The tech giant is reportedly working on a new neural processing unit or NPU, specifically designed for AI tasks. This development signifies a significant leap forward in the AI field, enabling more efficient and sophisticated computational processes. But Huawei isn't stopping there. The company is also rumored to be developing future Kirin chips using a 64-bit structure. This shift in architecture would result in a considerable performance boost, allowing for faster processing speeds and improved multitasking capabilities. The 64-bit structure isn't just about speed though. It also allows for the handling of larger amounts of data and memory which is crucial in our ever-evolving digital world. Now let's shift our focus to the Kirin 9010 the rumored new kid on the block. This potential powerhouse is said to feature Huawei's own Belong 6000 modem. The Belong 6000 is a multi-mode modem that supports 2G, 3G, 4G, and 5G networks, offering a seamless network experience. And how does the new chip fare in terms of performance, you ask? Well, if the rumors are to be believed, it's nothing short of impressive. On Geekbench 6, a popular benchmarking platform, the chip reportedly scored 1800 for single-core performance and a whopping 4800 for multi-core performance. This puts it in the upper echelons of the chip world, rubbing shoulders with some of the most powerful processors out there. The Kirin 9010 is also rumored to feature the Mali G78 GPU, which supports gaming at high frame rates and provides stunning visual experiences. Additionally, it's said to include the latest dual-core Ascend NPU, further enhancing its AI capabilities. With such advanced features the new Kirin chip is poised to redefine the future of technology. 
As Huawei continues to push the boundaries of what's possible we can't help but anticipate what's next. Stay tuned for more updates on the latest in tech news.